Let me just, for definitional purposes, um, describe domestic violence so that we're all talking about the same thing. It is a serious and preventable public health um, problem that affects, in the U.S. alone, 12 million Americans per year. As, um, as you've heard, intimate partner violence is all often used interchangeably um, with domestic violence. Intimate partner violence or domestic violence describes physical, sexual, or psychological harm by a current or former partner or spouse. This type of violence can occur among heterosexuals or same-sex couples and does not require sexual intimacy. The problem cuts across social, religious, and cultural uh, lines. There is not a segment of society that is spared. And as you heard, one in three women in the U.S. experience severe physical violence by an intimate partner at some point in their lifetimes. And that proportion is even higher in some other regions of the world. The other thing you should know is that domestic violence begins, often begins at a very early age and commonly leads to adverse health consequences across the lifespan. It's estimated that somewhere upwards of 10% of school children report dating violence. And as you'll hear later on, the economic burden of this um, type of public health problem is enormous. In the U.S. alone, it's estimated that the cost uh, exceeds $8.3 billion a year. The impacts of, pub of domestic violence reverberates through families and includes, in and includes impacts that transcend generations, across generations and in communities. We were asked by a Copenhagen consensus about what does this problem cost the world? What does violence general, yeah, from whatever violence you can think of, from civil wars to terrorism to homicides to um, domestic violence against women and children? So unfortunately, it's very bad data um, about um, um, violence against men worldwide, so we concentrated on, on women. So with the available data we had, we just sort of set about it as social scientists do and, and gathered the existing evidence and found very quickly that civil wars, the stuff you see on your, on your television screens every day, actually kills far fewer people than um, interpersonal violence. Yeah, so about six times as many people are killed uh, in homicides than in, in, in these collective types of violence. And um, homicide is predominantly a male problem, so m most um, um, victims are male, 77%, um, um, but um, out of the women, uh, it's already been touched upon, about 40% of um, victims worldwide are killed by their um, intimate partner, current or former intimate partner. Um, and when you actually compare the numbers, um, more women are killed by um, people they know than in, in civil war violence. Uh, so that sort of maybe shows you the sort of scale of the problem. And I think we've been able to sort of push the agenda um, globally that we should really try and do something about collective violence like civil war and terrorism. But I think we haven't yet been able to sort of push an agenda uh, for, uh, against domestic violence. Um, it's interesting that in um, these rates vary a lot across the world. Um, the evidence comes from um, surveys, so these are confidential surveys where women, uh, as I said, m we don't have any evidence on men, sort of report what happens to them. And um, the poorest region in the world, Sub-Saharan Africa, seems to have the highest prevalence rates. So. I would like to urge you to think of domestic violence not only as a human rights problem where your physical uh, integrity is compromised but also and a public health problem has already been stated but also as a development problem um, because um, these women um, have enormous problems throughout their life and never fulfill their sort of economic and social potential inside and outside um, of, of their homes. It's also an issue of fairness. Uh, if we concentrate on problems that ma mainly um, uh, are suffered by men, um, as we have at the moment on, on civil wars, then we're sort of not looking at the um, problems that affect women the most, which is domestic violence.